That rising water left many stuck while rushing to save animals at St. Clair County Animal Control in Belleville. Fox News Andy Banker continuing our Flood Watch live team coverage from there. Andy. Yeah, it's pretty scary here, Jasmine, and it was scary here for hours. It started in the morning, went way into the afternoon. We got here around 2 of o'clock at last. Things are starting to look better. This is the Animal Control Center, St. Clair County Animal Control in Belleville. You see the sandbags up against the door. The water was higher than that against the door. And then come over this way. There's a road behind the Animal Control Center and a creek behind that road, but they are still one and the same right now. Animal rescuers say the water was as high as their waist inside the building. Dogs were paddling through it as volunteers helped carry them to dry land. Roads were a mess. A half dozen cars or so were flooded on Highway 15 at Belleville Crossing. That's not too far from here, just on the other side of that creek. The water was up to the windows. We ran into a couple of volunteers trying to get to animal control using a back road, but that was underwater too. They tried walking, then thought better of it. They took the long way around in their vehicle and ended up fostering one of those rescued dogs. We were trying to get through to get to the animals, of course, to save them because I have a big heart for animals, and that's what we do. But we currently can't get through, so we were willing to walk through it. It got to a point where the dogs were in serious mortal peril, so we evacuated all the dogs to our parking lot um, to do head counts, stray rescue came. Uh, they transported dogs to Gateway Pet Guardians. She says all of the animals are safe, more than 50 cats and dogs total. They were taken to the Belleville Area Humane Society, which is just right down the street here, about a block away, and they do not have water inside their building, thank goodness. Also, they were taken to Gateway Pet Guardians. They kind of had to divvy them up because there was such a large number. Both those agencies now in desperate need of people to foster these rescued animals. Live in Belleville, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.